So today I'm going to be answering 100 ridiculous TMI questions and I have actually filmed this video before but I wasn't happy with how I answered some of the questions so I'm going to do it again now. Let's just get started because I feel like it'll be a long video. What is your biggest turn off in a person? Definitely arrogance. What is your biggest turn on? Someone with a good sense of humour and someone who will laugh at my bad jokes as well, that's good. Are you like your zodiac sign suggests you should be? Certain characteristics of a Sagittarius is a bit of me, but not I'm not fully the way my zodiac sign says I should be. At what age did you realise Santa wasn't real? I was quite young and that's because my older sister spoiled it for me, so thanks for that, Sarah. We love that. At what age did you have your first sexual experience? Too young. At what age did you have your first kiss? Now I don't remember. I think I must have been 11 or 12 maybe. At what age did you have your first crush and who was it? My first proper crush was when I was 11 and I'm not going to say who it was but it was someone I ended up being with for three years of my life. What is the best compliment you've ever received? When someone compliments my tattoos, I love that because I've got a lot of negativity about my tattoos so if someone likes them, that's good. I appreciate that. Oh, what is the best sex you've ever had? I mean, I haven't had much great sex, I'll be honest, but there is one or two occasions, maybe recently, that have, that's been, it's been all right. What is the biggest lie you've ever told? I tell people I'm fine when I'm not a lot of the time. Do you hate anyone right now? I don't like negativity. I don't like to hate anybody. There's a lot of people where I hate what they've done, but I don't hate them as a person. Are you hiding any piercings? If yes, where? Well, I'm not really hiding any. I've got my ears pierced, but technically I am because you can't see them unless I do that. But no, not, no more. Do you have any tattoos? If yes, what do they mean? Um, my last video is all about my tattoos, although since then I have got another one. Let me see if I can get it out. So, I got this. Oh God, why do I keep getting tattoos in places that are hard to show? Right, this is probably not the best angle, but it's a hummingbird and I like it. But if you want to know more about my tattoos, just check out my last video. Do you miss anyone right now? I miss a lot of people. We're in a pandemic, like we can't really see anybody. So yeah, I miss a lot of people. Do you smoke? I do, but I did manage to give up for a year and a half, but then I had a little bit of a relapse, but shit happens. To your knowledge, have you ever been cheated on? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I don't do violence. I, I'm too scared for any of that. Have you ever been in a relationship? Yeah, I've been in a couple. Have you ever been in love? I honestly think I've only been in love once. I've thought I was in love at other points, but I, looking back, I probably wasn't. Have you ever been loved by someone you didn't love back? Yeah, this, this has happened once. Have you ever loved anyone that didn't love you back? Kind of but they didn't know I loved them, so. Have you ever been betrayed by someone you care about? No, because if someone betrays me, then I no longer care about them. Have you ever catfished anyone? See, with me, what you see is what you get, but I do look totally different with makeup on than what I do without it, so technically I'm catfishing you all now because I did not look like this when I woke up. Have you ever cried over a lover? Yeah, many times. Have you ever danced without leaving room for Jesus? No, I don't believe in Jesus, so I've got no room for him anyway. Have you ever dated anyone you've met online? Yeah, I have, and I don't think I would ever, ever do that again. 
Have you ever given or received a hickey? Yeah, like when I was 16. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? None of my teachers at school were crush worthy at all, so no. Have you ever kissed a non-family member on the lips? Uh, yeah, couple, couple of people. Have you ever kissed for more than two hours consecutively? I mean, I never time someone when I'm kissing them, but possibly. Have, right, I can't say that or that one. Have you ever led a person on? No, I would never do that. Have you ever lied to get out of trouble? I think when I was younger and me and my older sister lived together, I think she got the blame for a few things that I'd done, but I was a little sister and I was a little cow. Like, I was a child. Have you ever liked a person your friend was dating? To be fair, I don't really have any friends. Like, I've got a couple, but... Have you ever... I can't. Have you ever played a game involving stripping? Yeah, yeah I have. Have you ever used somebody for your personal gain? No, I'm not like that. Have you ever been heartbroken? Yeah, a couple of times. How far have you gone to get something you desired? If there's something I want and there's something I'm passionate about, I will not stop until I get there. So I will go all the way till I get what I want. How many relationships have you had? Now I've had a few flings, which I'm not going to count as relationships because it was a fling. But I've had, I think maybe three serious-ish relationships. What do you weigh? I don't know. I weigh this much. How tall are you? Five foot six, which is 168 centimetres. When did you lose your virginity? When I was too young. If you could bring back a person from the dead, who would you bring back? That question's actually making me a bit emotional. Um, Dan, my good mate who died in November. If you could choose a Disney prince to marry, who would you choose? Mm, I don't know, maybe Prince Eric from Little Mermaid. If you could choose one Disney princess to be your best friend, who would you choose? Probably Princess Jasmine because she's got that tiger and he, he looks quite cute. If you could get married to any celebrity, who would it be? I don't really have any celebrity crushes these days. If you could change one thing about your first kiss, what would it be? Probably who it was with. If you had to live in the world of the last TV show you watched, where would you be living? Well, I've been watching Pram Face, um, and I'm not even sure where that's set. Somewhere in London, maybe? Yeah, I don't really want to live in London. When was the last time you insulted someone? I genuinely can't remember. Like, I haven't seen many people. We're in a pandemic. When's the last time you were insulted? Oh, I went to go and get my meds this morning, and one of the staff was like, Oh, you've been drawing up with felt tip on your eyes again. So, that, yeah, this morning. Mention a movie that always makes you cry. Probably Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, am I allowed to say this? I'm going to anyway. How horny are you? <laughs> mm, have, uh, just, I'll leave that one to your imagination. Uh, <laughs> what is the scariest thing you've ever experienced? The car crash I was in a couple of years ago. What colour underwear are you wearing right now? Black. It's always black. What do you think about the most? Um, what am I thinking about right now? I'm thinking about pot noodles right now. I don't know if that's what I think about most, who knows? What do you think is your sexiest feature? No, I don't think I'm sexy in the slightest, but I do quite like my hair. What is the disgusting habit you have? Um, probably chewing the skin around my fingers. What is a relationship deal breaker for you? Um, it's just somebody who's really angry all the time for no reason. 
What's the sexiest feature you love in the opposite gender? Nice eyes. I know that's pretty cliche and everyone would probably say that, but I do like nice eyes. And I like strong arms, you know, like when they give you a cuddle and you just feel really safe. Yeah, that, I like that. Mention something that's currently bothering you. Tier 4, innit? Mention something that makes you happy. I quite like going to B&M. Is that really sad that that's the first thing that came to my mind? Mention something you do when no one is watching. When I'm on my own, which is 90% of my life, um, I sing a lot. Like, I'm not the best singer in the world, but I enjoy singing. It makes me happy. What is something you like to do when you're sad? Singing. Love it. What is the best gift you've ever received? I mean, the gift of life was pretty special. Like, thanks, Mum. I appreciate that. What is the biggest fear you have overcame? This time last year, I was so unwell with anorexia and even thinking about food scared me. Whereas now, I'm eating all my meals, all my snacks. Like, I enjoy food now. So that was a fear that I've overcome. What is the longest you've ever gone without a shower? Probably five days, but I was in hospital and not very well at all. What is the major physical trait you look for in a partner? I like people that are taller than me. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like everyone I've been with has been taller than me and I quite like that. What is the worst gift you have ever given? When the 5p charge for carrier bags came into force, I gave my mum a bag full of carrier bags for Christmas. What is your biggest fear? The fear of rejection. What is your favourite holiday destination? To be honest, I haven't really had many holidays. I did quite enjoy going to Blackpool. I quite like York. I like Plymouth. There's quite a few places I like. I've been to France, but I had food poisoning, so I didn't really enjoy it. What is your relationship with your parents like? So, my mum is an incredible lady. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I love her. My dad died when I was younger, but while he was alive, I loved him and he would do anything for me. Now I have a stepdad who I see as my second dad and couldn't ask for a better stepdad. Have you ever had a pregnancy scare? To be honest, I think most girls have had pregnancy scares. Like, I've had pregnancy scares when I hadn't even had sex. And I'm just like, oh, my period's like an hour late. Am I pregnant? Like, what is your worst sexual experience? <laughs> I've had a few. Um, well, he was finished before he even got in. Am I putting this on the internet? Yeah, that. What was the last text you sent? Um, let me just have a look. It was the word yes, but it didn't ask who to, so. What was the last thing that made you cry? Boris Johnson, he makes me cry on the daily basis. What's the last thing that made you laugh? Um, I can't say that, <laughs> but yeah, it did make me laugh. When is your birthday? 16th of December, 98. Which celebrity would be your hall pass? I genuinely don't have one. Who is your celebrity crush? Again, I don't have one. Who is your favourite fictional couple? Hmm. All I can think about is Hollyoaks. Um, who in Hollyoaks is still together and not cheated? Tony and Diane. Like, I think I said this last time I filmed the video. Like, they've been through so much lately. And they're still, they're still going strong. Who was the first person you ever fell in love with? I was a lot younger than what I am now and I didn't really know what love was but at the time I thought it was love. 
and it was a person. I'm not going to reveal the name, that's not fair for me to name names. Would you ever change anything about yourself and if so what would it be? Oh I would change so much, like I hate my face. Have you... no, no I can't. Uh, have you ever sent a sexually explicit text? I mean yeah, maybe once. Have you ever sent or received sexually explicit photographs? I've definitely received some in my time. Have you ever... Oh no, I can't. Okay. Have you ever cheated on a significant other during a relationship? No, I wouldn't do that. I don't know enough people to go and cheat on people. Have you ever been walked in on during sex? Not walked in on, but walked past. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? No, I have not. Now that is all the questions. No, it's not, I've lied. That is not all the questions, but that is all the ones that I'm gonna answer because my mum and my little sister watches my videos and there is some questions that I don't want them hearing the answers to. So I'm gonna go finish my drink, sort me washing out and I will see you next time.